A lot of conversation. You know, A.J. Preller a week ago, and we talked about this, said we're going to try to sign Juan Soto to a contract extension right now, but we would never say no to listening to offers. While the report in The Athletic is that there are at least four teams that are intrigued and prepared to make offers for Juan Soto in a trade between now and when free agency starts, the night the World Series end, and the winter baseball meetings in early December. Now, remember, this is the guy that rejected through his agent $440 million in Washington when the Nationals were a good team. So I don't know whether the Padres can get this guy to sit at the table and actually accept the $40 million package or a $50 million a year deal. And I don't know how deep, how long an extension the Padres want to give. So the burning question on fans' forum for Padre fans, do you want to sign him now? What are you willing to pay for him? Or should you shop him and try to get a lot back? Okay, the Athletic has reported the Yankees would be willing to part with their top minor league pitcher, Michael King, second pitcher, Joni Brito, and one of their young outfielders, possibly Evero Pariva. Boston would part with established outfielder Alex Verdugo, the ex-Dodger, who's done very well at Fenway Park, uh, Jarn Duran, outfielder, top young pitcher Tanner Houck. Now, he's had some health arm issues. Seattle's in the running. They got a whole laundry list of young arms. Evidently, the one that they might be willing to part with is George Kirby. There's a really good young outfielder, Gabe Gonzalez, who's ready to go to Seattle from Tacoma. And there's a couple of minor leaguers that might be in that package. And then there's the Giants. Evidently, the Giants are trying to make a statement as to who they're going to be all about. Remember, a year ago, they came this close to getting Carlos Correa, yeah. which would have been a credibility move. Mm-hmm. Well, Soto, that's about as big time as you get if you get him to San Francisco. But the price tag would probably be Kyle Harrison, their top young pitcher, who's very impressive. Luis Matos, young outfielder, fly chaser, can run like hell, and a couple of other prospects. So those are the four that the Athletic has theorized from their sources are ready to make an offer to the Padres. So what do the Padres do, and which is the best of these offers, Yankees, Red Sox, Seattle, San Fran? This is really intriguing because if the Padres have to go from $253 million a year down to two hundred. million, I think Soto has to be dealt, you know, and you got to be able to optimize your payroll. Uh, I still think, though, it's more likely he'll be traded than if he will re-sign with the Padres, either this offseason or next. Um, but I look at those deals. The other name that I heard from the Yankees was Spencer Jones, who actually played ball in Carlsbad. So there's a lot of interesting names there. But if you were to get, um, you know, pitching and outfield help, because they definitely need more bats in the outfield, it could work, but I don't think any of those packages are as good as what we sent to Washington. You wouldn't get the equivalent of the six that you sent to the Nationals right? here. Now, we don't know all the other prospects that are in the deal, but Michael King is highly regarded with the Yankees. Duran and Verdugo, those are two pretty good outfielders at Fenway Park. Kirby is part of the front of the rotation with the Mariners, and I really like the giant Harrison Matos. Only time will tell. Now, if you're going to trade them, trade them now. We're going to wait to the trading deadline. Do you lose leverage if you're trying to do it on July 31st as compared to now? You know, if you if you can trade him now, you trade him now. That Because when you get to July 31st, it, it, then he's, he's clearly a rental for only two months. So you'll be lucky to get really anything back. So I say, I mean, my preference is keep him. Sign him if you can have him a long term deal that you should do that. But I don't know how Seidler is going to make this work. It's just a math problem. So, yeah, maybe you deal him now and hopefully you can kind of restructure the team and maybe restructure the chemistry in the in the clubhouse. And the other factor, the intangible, if you trade him now, you clear 33 million in your budget because that's what he's going to get. Mm -hmm. That 33 million can be redistributed to other free agents to try to patch more into the Padre roster. Yeah, exactly. Okay, from the Padres, 